Good morning, welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for choosing to stay with us now. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another and suffer the indignity of being the skunk of the world. Those were the powerful words of struggle icon and our late former President Nelson Mandela in the year of 1994 at his inauguration. In 2004, they inspired artist Anne Marais to create a sculptured porcelain clay work in a perspex box, which she titled Never Again. The work depicts room 1026, a notorious interrogation room on the 10th floor of John Foster Square, where numerous detainees jumped to their death while in detention during the apartheid era. Now, 10 years on, the work will be a highlight of an auction taking place on Tuesday in Cape Cape Town, Emil Lamprecht, who is Head of Paintings and Art at Stefan Veltz and Co, joins us to tell us more about the work and the auction. Imre, good morning, welcome. Very welcome to you too, thanks. Let, let's talk about Amore and this work never again. Uh, it's special. Talk to me about the term, the technique, the skill and kind of what makes this work stand out. Okay, so Amaru is a, a well-known ceramicist, uh, fine artist, f who hails from Cape Town. Um, the piece is a beautiful, finely done work in porcelain, in a perspex box, as you mentioned before. Um, and you don't think it, it showcases the atrocities, mm. you know, when you sort of, when you de delve deeper into it, you sort of hear the, the story that goes behind it. Um, what makes it interesting is she chose to put it in this perspex box to sort of put a thing on the fact that it, it's the truth that needs to come out. It needs to be um, see-through and everybody needs to see what's going on behind the scenes. This work was also a finalist in the 2004 Brett Cable um, Art Awards. Mm. Um, and it's obviously sort of 10 years, it was done 10 years after... Um, democracy came into to being in our country um, and obviously now 20 years on from that it's a are, are you amazed and I mean obviously you guys deal with these kind of unique pieces on a, on a day-to-day -day basis I mean you eat sleep them but is it amazing how this piece of work has managed to live on a past what the the artists have thought it would be I mean in 2004 it was created and years later 10 years later we're still talking about the, um, the, um, not only the art piece but we're talking about what inspired that art piece well the, f the, the thing is that it's it's based on you know years of uh, violence and atrocities against people and that unfortunately is never you know it's, it's part of history mm. um, it's it's gone hopefully in the minds of most people but it is something that happened and it is something that that needs to be spoken about um, and and sort of you know if you capture something like that in clay um, it's it's there forever and and that's why it's such a, a, an amazing piece to have in a collection because it is a talking piece mm. For our viewers at, our, at home, can you give us a sense of how big this piece is in the art, in the art world? Um, in the art world as such. Yeah, amongst, uh, amongst art critics and art circles. Well, as I said, she, um, she's a known artist. The fact that it was a finalist in a major art uh, mm. competition, it means it's a documented in exhibition books, um, etc. So it's a, it's a well-known, it's a pretty big piece. Yes. Let's talk numbers here. I mean, look, we all want to know. How much do you possibly think it will fetch in an auction? Um, look, that's What always... number are you throwing around? What <laughs> number are you throwing around? Estimate-wise, it's sort of fifty to 80,000. But, um, you know, it could, the sky's the limit. At the end of the day, if, if you have two or three people in a room who desperately wants it, it could go for, you know, it could go for a hundred, it could go for a million. You never know. Hmm. Um, you know... That's, that's, the, that's the secret of an auction, I suppose. Yeah, and, um, and secretly we're all crossing our fingers. Maybe it'll True. go for a million, never know. Talk to me about the rest of the auction. What, are, what other pieces will be up? Well, um, we generally do a, a big selection of work. So apart from like a, a very, very good selection of South African and international artworks, uh, we also have beautiful pieces of furniture, especially beautiful 20th century contemporary furniture pieces, amazing jewellery. Um, some lovely carpets, ceramics. So it's a, it's a full spectrum of collectibles that's coming up. Fifteen on sale. seconds. Villi Bester's White's Only and Wild Dogs will be there as well. Yeah, Villi Bester's got two beautiful works, um, both assemblage works. Um, Well-known South African artist. Um, so also good works to put in any collection for a South African art collector. 
Imran, thank you very much for joining us. That's Imran Lamprecht, who is head of uh, paintings and art at Stefan Veltz & Co. They'll be hosting an auction on Tuesday of works by Anne Marais and Philippe Bester to reflect on this country's very painful past of apartheid. Let us know what you think. Morning live at sabc.co.za.